on Travel Ball Miami. One, two, three, stop! Two, hey, yo! Good throw, man! Two feet away, you can throw it down, boy! Three! Wow! The Battle on the Border is an annual tournament between the best little league teams from Ohio and Pennsylvania. This year, they're in for a big surprise as a team from South Florida has been allowed to compete. This is Triple Crown. We haven't played in many Triple Crown sanctions, so that's why with these teams that we're playing right now, it's kind of blind. We don't know who, who's good, who's not good. So it's, you know, it's a little frustrating in that aspect. Most of the kids in the Florida Stealth come from low-income homes, underprivileged from the inner city of Miami. However, thanks to the generous contributions of both sponsors and parents, the passion these kids have for baseball can be fully realized. They take baseball seriously at Florida Stealth. Very seriously. The parents can sometimes be even more passionate than the kids. When things went well, the crowd danced. When things didn't go well, you want to catch a spot, you got to work for it. It was a big culture shock for the opposing team. It was unlike anything Ohio had ever seen before. The coaches are passionate too. They'd have to be to keep up with this team. There's manager Luis De La Cruz. Be in the same pace. Have a great combination, okay? And be ready in another pitch, okay? Come on, let's go. I'm you, let's go. First base coach, Alfredo Gonzalez. Yeah, hit the ball, man. Hey, somebody fought in here, man. <laughs> Alfredo! What the hell, bro? You playing like you don't want to play. Do you understand me? The ball's going away. Right Listen, the boys in Come on, hustle. Let's go, go. Hansen, let's go. I don't want you looking at your dad, you heard me? The first opponent was the Renegades, and while they gave up three runs to the team from Ohio, the end result was never in doubt. Ariel Antigua's RBI in the fourth inning sealed it up, and Florida Stealth defeated the Renegades 10-3. You got a big booger in your nose. Oh, that's a big booger. That's why you couldn't hit the ball. Ready? It was blocked. <laughs> oh, no, that's the time with the booger. Double ball. That's absolutely horrible base running. Why is he going? Come on. You look like amateurs out there. Game two against the Mahoning Valley Scrappers also presented its challenges. Hey, Chase, I feel like you're ready, bro. But Florida Stealth met that challenge head on, scoring eight runs against the Scrappers, too. Keep it up. I want five more this inning. Almost broke his leg. I kind of feel Milo. bad for the kid. I wouldn't have slid into him like that. Good job, boys. Good guys. Florida Stealth was in the zone by the third game, dominating the Boom Tigers 10-0. Well, we got the best hair in baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got pretty good bro. I like it. I need 110%, not 100%. If you're not giving me 110%, your asses is gonna be sitting on the fucking bench. They didn't take their foot off the accelerator in game four either, as they routed All-American Red 8-0. That night, the entire team was treated to an evening at BNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. As VIP guests, they were allowed to access the field and were given Pirates hats and jerseys. Afterwards, they watched their favorite team, the Pirates, score a big win against one of their division rivals. I've never been to a nicer stadium. I felt like I was in the major league. We'd like to thank the entire Pittsburgh Pirates organization for making these young boys' dreams come true. Two brought the rain along with stronger competition. The Ohio Bombers faced off against Stealth in the semifinals. And for a few innings, it looked as though they would be sending Stealth back to Florida empty handed. 
But thanks to the speed and power of number seven, Abdriel Degado, Stealth was able to prevail over the Bombers 10-3 and advance in the final game. Is the real deal right here. Are you play? We didn't so finish yet. Yeah, we, we came here with a purpose to kick everybody's ass. So let's kick everybody's ass. You understand me? Yeah. yeah. Shake hands and may the best team win. Yes, the championship game against the Pittsburgh Outlaws Orange was never in doubt, thanks to Florida Stell's secret weapon, 10 year old pitcher Jaden Paradoa, whose fastball can reach a blazing 70 miles per hour. Number 18 struck out nearly every member of the Outlaws team. Allowing Stealth to pulverize them with their strong power hitting. Stealth to defeat the Outlaws 9-0, giving them the championship. These are just some of the scenes from Travel Ball Miami. Thank you for watching.